Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a mobile app that works on all devices. Uh, we're gonna do that on uh, with web metrics, all right? And this is a free software uh, provided by Microsoft and anybody can download it. And I'm gonna show you how to download it. So first we're gonna download a web metrics. Second, we're gonna create a folder. We're gonna import jQuery, which is a JavaScript library. We're gonna create the master page and other pages and then we're gonna test it in all um, um, platforms all right and if you have any questions please visit smtutor.com or uh, follow us on twitter at tutor on the go and like us on facebook at uh, facebook.com slash smweb1 all right so let's get started so here and uh, let's open and uh, your browser and here let's type on uh, web metrics so web metrics and click uh, enter and here uh, we're gonna click uh, this web metrics right here and here it says free download so this work on Windows devices so if you're running a Microsoft Windows operating system this will work okay so let's click free Run. Oh, it says yes. This will take a, a while, so and, uh, you're going to have to wait a little bit. Oh, I will pause the video and come back, okay? All right, guys, I'm back, and the download is completed. And here it's what's popped, so you have to press install. It says uh, Microsoft Web Matrix 3, and you can read uh, the terms here and uh, accept, and here accept. This will download and install the Web Matrix 3. This also might take some uh, few minutes, so you may have to wait a little bit. Ninety nine percent. All right, it says the following product was successfully installed, and I click finished. All right, so we have everything, and now here, and then, uh, so we're gonna exit here, and then uh, we're gonna go to our folders and open Web Matrix. Okay, so come here, and uh, here type Web and Web Matrix. All right, it's right here, so double click on it. This will open uh, Web Metrics 3. This might take a few minutes. 
So let's wait. Oh, I will pause the video and come back. All right, guys, I'm back. And this is the interface for Microsoft Web Matrix 3. And this is, it has three uh, little folder here, my site, new, open. And here we're gonna create a new site. So come here and create and click empty site. All right, so this is a very nice uh, interface and I like this interface. And uh, where's this one? And here uh, we're gonna create uh, rename the file. And uh, create my my app my first app my first app. All right and click uh, somewhere else here all right so inside here we're gonna create uh, what is called um, uh, we're gonna create a folder so uh, the first uh, we create a new folder so right click on this and come here and this folder we're gonna create j we're gonna call it jquery mobile all right and uh, inside this, uh, in, uh, so you can create jQuery. So inside this folder, we're gonna create a, another folder here and uh, call uh, images. All right. And then uh, come back here and we're gonna create uh, a new file. So right click and and here we're gonna choose the HTML file. This is all type of uh, extension you wanna create. And uh, here we're gonna call it um, the index as HTML. This will be our code will be on this. So rename index the end. Press OK. All right. So this is the file. And here we're gonna a title here. Just type my my first app in web web metrics three all right and then uh, and click on here file and you can come here and uh, you can click here and save and then uh, we're gonna run this with uh, any browser and see so we're gonna run it with internet explorer Yeah, my first app in web metrics. All right, so and then uh, let's uh, let's close this. And then uh, all right, so guys, uh, here is what everything happens. So in this case, uh, here I wanna create, I wanna um, um, import my jQuery and uh, files. He has uh, some uh, file that I would like to import. In this case, uh, I will call them. So I will leave the links below so you can download the jQuery file uh, and the JavaScript file too. And then from there, you, we're going to import it to here. All right. So, so come here and then create a new file. And this time we're going to create an, a JavaScript file, All right? And here, and then here you have to re rename it. And then uh, let me just go and copy this. So I already have this copy. So and come here and paste. All right. So you have to run jQuery dash one point eight point three that mean and uh, JavaScript and click OK. So that's the first jQuery file. 
and then uh, we're gonna create another one here which which will be uh, uh, the CSS so let me copy this my file so here and come back here and come here and create a new file and here will be the CSS and com come here delete this and paste paste jquery that mobile that slash 1.3 mean that CSS okay and click okay all right so this create another um, and the last one I'm gonna import and uh, the JavaScript copy and come here and create another on uh, JS new file it's JavaScript and then uh, come here and paste this all right and click save so all these three files I will give you the the code in a in a video below so you can just download it and then uh, replace the content all right so and then uh, and then my images here so now I'm gonna now import my uh, jQuery and uh, file all right so I'm trying to figure out what is the file the jQuery so let me pause the video and find the file and come back Hi right, guys, I'm back. And first, we're gonna use the the jQuery one mobile and this. And we're gonna have I'm gonna have to find the file. So, and the first one was jQuery mobile. And then uh, jQuery mobile. That's the CSS file. So, and this link will be below. So you're gonna have to copy and paste it here. Uh, control A and come here and select all this and just control V all right so this is all the file and then uh, press save so let's go now to jQuery mobile here and then uh, so I have the file here control A control C and come here control V paste in and control S save or you can come here and save and then let's come to here the jQuery the JavaScript so jQuery JavaScript and then I come here I'm gonna copy all this in my folder here and then come here and paste it in and control s to save it all right and then uh, for my images I have all my images here so I have control a here control C copy and then uh, come here and my image here and click paste all right this paste all my images inside here and then uh, come in index here all right so now everything is set up now and uh, i'll set up all my uh, uh environment now i'm gonna start encoding here so so first of all, we're gonna have to import and our uh, create a folder that will uh, import our uh, what is called source code. And uh, in this case, uh, the source code will be and uh, what is called uh, containing all these uh, .js, .css, and .js. So we're gonna have to import this. All right. So. So let me uh, pause the video and then and come back. All right, guys, and everything is set up, and now let's start coding. 
So first, I'm going to put this one down here. All right, so here in the head file, I have to create a link, a link that will, and uh, what is called, uh, that will be linked to this file, all right? So here, and then, uh, so I come here inside the, inside, so I create a link. So the link is already down here, and then close this. And then the link, you have, um, So this was uh, this is a jQuery jQuery mobile, and then uh, this is my folder. I call this folder jQuery mobile. That's the, and that's the folder here jQuery mobile. And then I'm gonna come here and I take and come here and say the name. I'm just gonna control S and uh, control. Control C, copy, and come here and paste it. So I have my jQuery and the CSS. Should I copy all of that? And then, uh, so here is uh, this is the style sheet. The are the real style sheet, and then the type. The type is the text CSS. All right. And then I'm gonna have to create another one for. Uh, I'm just gonna copy uh, copy this and come down here and paste it in this case uh, I'm gonna copy this so come here the name and then uh, copy all this copy and come here and here and then uh, paste it in All right, so this is jQuery, this is JavaScript, so this is, and here you have to change this to uh, JavaScript. All right, and then, uh, and this is uh, the JavaScript, uh, but this is not the link, and this should be text, this is, should be a script. Uh, oh, what should I do? I, I need to take. Uh, sorry, this one is out. So this is just write the script, and inside the script here, and uh, this is the source, and then the, the source actually is a jQuery mobile, so it's this one. So to import the, the JavaScript, you have to um, write script, and then come here and paste. And slash, and then now I will take this script, which is uh, this. So let me take all of this, copy, and come here and paste. All right, and then the type. So I have to specifically type is the is a text, and is a text a JavaScript. Right, and then close it for that script, and then I have to create uh, the same thing for this JavaScript. So if that's the case, I'm just gonna copy this and come here, paste it. So the folder is this folder jQuery inside this folder, and I need this. So I'm just gonna have to change this to three and zero. And this, this, I think um, there's an update on this uh, CSS and then and JavaScript, so you can find it online, I think at GitHub, and you can download the, the update version, okay? In this case, I will I use this version. All right, so now I'll import my two scripts, this and this on these two files, and then uh, my CSS here. All right, so now, and then, uh, now everything is right. So now, here, everything starts. So here in uh, jQuery mobile use uh, what is called uh, a data role page and an ID to create uh, the master page. And then once you create the master page, we're gonna link each page to a sub pages, all right? So first, and I need to open the div tag here and close the div tag. So inside the div tag, and uh, this is called data role and uh, role, and then I'll call it the page. And the first ID will be called page. 
all right so inside this i will uh i will create and now my uh, header so and then div close the uh, sorry so come here div and close the div and the and the data row here will be header i call it the header and then the data time times the, this is this the uh, the term this I'll choose the uh, the term B there's A B C D and C, so on in this case and I choose the term B okay and come in the middle here and I click enter and come at the end here and I create the H1 tag and I say we we go healthy we go healthy at we go healthy at sm at sm0 dagger all right so if you want to see it control s so let's save this and then uh, let's come here and then uh, come here and then let's go into the next door. All right, and uh, all right. So we go healthy at uh, SMT uh, All right. So let's close this. And here, let's check it out. Let's uh, download uh, what is called uh, an iPhone. iPhone, what is called an interface. So come to your Windows here, and then look for Microsoft Web Platform Installer. When 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 you download Web Metrics, this uh, Microsoft Web Web Platform Installer was downloaded with it. So this will allow you to add any extension to your and uh, web metrics. So click on this, or you can search. You can search this here by typing the name, and then uh, uh, say yes. This will take a while and we just have to have a little bit of patience. And while this is, is going and uh, all right, so here and then uh, I'm looking for, uh, no, actually I don't need this. I just come here, home come here and then add new this will load and um, the list of all extensions this might take a few minutes All right, so I guess uh, okay. So let's find the iPhone simulator. All right, and click install. You can have the iPad simulator and click yes and accept. All right, this might take a few minutes, so let's wait. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, it's coming back. So I see and uh, close, so everything is good.
closed and uh, and then let's come here home and let's come here and then let's select iPhone All right, so this is the iPhone simulator. All right, so we go healthy at sm2.com. All right, so now and then uh, we, later on, we're gonna download the iPad simulator and do that, all right? So let's put this one inside a little bit. And uh, you can uh, come right click on it and you can change the rotation landscape. This will give you the rotation here. All right, so device phone. And, uh, orientation culture. All right, so come here, file, and exit. All right, so here now, let's create now and uh, what is called. Uh, let's create now and uh, what is called the content, the content of my uh, page. All right, so I create the div here, and then uh, inside inside the div here below, I'm gonna create another div. Close the div and come down here. And inside that div, um, and I'm gonna create a data role. My data role is a content. I call it content. And my data data ten. In this case, I use uh, the A ten. Control S. And then now I'm gonna create now my UL tag. Okay, so UL. That's the end folder list, and uh, right. So come up here. So inside my UL list, I created a data row. Uh, it's called list view. This will give me automatically a list view, and then uh, my list view, my first list view, uh, and uh, my first list list view. I'll call it breakfast. Breakfast. All right. So, and, uh, if you want to see it, Control S here, and then uh, we can run the iPhone simulator here. All right, at, this is uh, the breakfast. And uh, so now, here I want to copy this. Yes. Copy uh, three times. Come down here, v. Come down here v. and then uh, here my list, my list. So the, my list view here will be on uh, my anchor tag will be here. I want to link this to a to a to a page to to a page second page. So I call it the page two. And then same thing here. I will link this to the third page. So page three, and then here I'll breakfast, and I'll change this one to lunch. All right, and then uh, here I'll uh, link this page to page four. So all these pages are gonna be created below here, all right? So and then this one will be called uh, snack, all right? And then my last page here is the page five, page five, and then I'll call it here. Dinner, dinner, all right? And Control S. All right, and then uh, let me add the background for each of them so you can see. So style, let's say background. 
I can call her is and uh, let me pick the first one and then here style background so I like web metrics because this just give you the completion of the code I'm gonna pick this this one and then uh, here style background color this one and the last one here style style and uh, so the background color here I just go with uh, probably I don't know something all right so control s or you can call me a save and then uh, let's run this on the mobile device all right so you have uh, all your items here all right so and then uh, so now i don't know what is called on uh, you're gonna create now and then uh, each now see we created a, a, a list called the reference called page two and then at first we created uh, a content div here so let me come and put this one up so we create a content div here first we create a ul and the, the ul here and we create a content div here This and then this is this and then this is this All right and then I want to create a last div down here and uh, this div it, it, it will be uh, the footer alright so and uh, my, my data role it's called the footer and uh, and I was called let's say the data term and data the data term and I will be uh, let's say my footer I choose the B alright so and then uh, inside a div here I will create uh, sorry, sorry. enter and I'll create here a paragraph P and this paragraph uh, we say uh, let's say uh, copy right let's say I write copy 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 right and let's say copy comma 2015 and then uh, send zero account and all right so and this is my data and then uh, so let's save and if you want to come here you're gonna have come here f5 refresh and this will give you uh, uh copyright down here i'm just gonna deal with this All right, control S. So this is my uh, this is my footer. All right. Now I'm gonna copy this and just do that. See, and then I just put this one up here. Put this one. So I have three div tag, and then and then this is my div. So here I will make a comment so you can see. So this is the master page. This is the page one. This is the master page and uh, let me copy this comment here and come here and then uh, just this and this is the this is the start of the page and here down here this is the end this is the end of page one start of page one 
all right guys i'm gonna have to leave you a little bit because i have a meeting right now and then i'll see you and um and uh i'll pause the video and i'll see you later all right bye all right guys i'm back and then uh, let's see what we have here so we create our master page and then um so let's uh, add comment comment here from the end of page one and uh it's a control s and come here and let's run this and see all right we have this and uh okay here i'm gonna just uh put here healthy all right so and control s and come here click on the thing and put the five healthy async to all right so how about we delete this and then we write this one a little bit smaller something like that all right so and then i use the the, the data 10b here this should give me a blue screen but here i don't see that so and then i don't know why oh, let's just write here simply how about that control s so I can have it on the line all right and then uh, so here um, there's something uh, I want to write probably the text aligned in this case to be on on the center so my uh, h1 center if that's the case I want this data time to be be to be a blue so this probably is coming here all right so guys I forgot something here just have to and, uh, copy this and come at the end of jQuery mobile here and press that and then uh, control V all right so and then, all right so let's edit this and then control s so come back here and press f5 all right so this is what you should see actually already so on uh, so let's see on the uh, so we have this now let's create now so we create a page called breakfast right this page was created on uh, right here the page called breakfast and this page has an uh, a reference of page two so I'm gonna create another page for this all right and then uh, see we create another page three page four and page five all right so so let's come so we're gonna in order to do this we're gonna create another page so I'll come at the end of the page one here and then uh, so let's just regroup this regroup this and then group this all right so come at the end of the page here so here I'm gonna create my second page uh, the div and then inside that div, my data role, and then uh, I'll call it page, and then the ID will be page, page two. Remember here we create and uh, we create here uh, on this one page and page two. So this page, that's the page right here. All right. So come here. And I can add comment here. Just say, just stay here on uh, page two, and then uh, at the end here, let's create another comment, and then say here end and page two. All right. So inside this, inside this, and I'm gonna create first. And then uh, here inside this, I'm gonna create on um, first my header type, okay? Div. And then uh, here will be will be on uh, so the data the data row is the same thing that creating for the page one. And uh, this is gonna call you header, all right? and uh, the data term will be blue so i use uh, choose the term here 
the pen will be B and B stands for um, light blue, I guess so. Alright, so here inside here, I'm going to create another H1 tag. And then I'll create here, the head tag will be breakfast. Breakfast. Alright, and then uh, I'm going to style this with a background so you can see. Style, let's say on a background, background color. Background color here is uh, let's say green. All right, Control S. If you wanna see this, so let's uh, come here and run this. And then here, so once we click here, we can access and uh, my second page. So let's click on this. This is what I just created right here, and this is uh, this is right here the breakfast, and it has a background green. All right. So we're gonna have to uh, create for each of them. So when you go back here, when you click on this, the page is empty. So we just create this page. Now this page need um, a header, which is here, a content and a footer. So let's create our content down here. So come at the end of here and then uh, let's create another div. Let me put space, space a little bit and enter so here i'm gonna i need i need to create a content so the data role equal and this is the content and then uh the term so the data term so the um the data term here i would choose uh, um, uh, data term, I don't know. So let's choose probably A so you can see what A is about. Alright, so and then this is my content. And then uh, so let's control S this, or you can come here and save. And let's go back to our here. And then uh, let's say I want to refresh this F5. Alright, so you just create an A. a here dark but I don't need this actually so I'm gonna now create and since I created uh, and uh, let's just create a style for this instead all right so I created div, uh, div and, and the data term is B and h1 it is the header now I created a content here and the content the content I don't need, I don't just need the background. I will just add the background. So I, I'm gonna style this, style this, and back background, background color. Let's use uh, and f f f f f uh, off on 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 cc. All right, Control S. So if you wanna see this, come here and F5. All right, so and uh, uh, the content is empty, but uh, let's add uh, let's add some 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 content inside here. First, first of all, I'm gonna add the image. So image here goes the source. So the source of the image and uh, it's uh, it's inside my jQuery jQuery. Dash mobile and then uh, the mobile here and then uh, the, the folder is uh, images and enter my images and then uh, my image called cheese cheese that png and then the width was this and the width it's 35 and the, the height it's 35 all right and then uh, so I just come down here and just close this all right so control s this is uh, uh this it says meeting art so let's just add the art this is called cheese control s all right so come here and let's run it in the iPad in the iPhone and then let's go to breakfast click on this all right that's my image here all right so and then uh, 
So let's just put this measure a bit like that so you can see. All right, so now, and then, uh, let's see it up here. All right, so now I'm gonna and, um, and add uh, probably a comment. So come, come down here and just, uh, just add, uh, let's say, add extra cheese to an omelette, something like that. That's your breakfast. Right, and then uh, I want this to be a uh, break twice, so you can see some space on the next line, and then I want to import another image to be to be uh, very fast. I'm just gonna copy this. Just copy this, Control C, and come down here, and then paste it. In this case, we're gonna change this into an apple, right? That's another image called apple. So I'm gonna copy this, and then uh, this one will be apple. All right, and Control S, and come here, and press F5. So we have another apple here. All right, and I'm gonna add a comment for this apple. So come down here, and. Uh, I will add probably, uh, I will change this to uh, Apple or something like that. Right, so let me scroll this one down a little bit so you can see. All right, so in here I'll add uh, a comment, say slice, slice an apple with almond butter. All right, and then, uh, Let's create this, and then uh, we're going to the next line, and we're gonna paste it again. In this case, and uh, in this case, I will use uh, another image here. Is uh, I'll call it nut. That's my nut ENG, and uh, come down here. So let's say here. And uh, I have to call change this to not. All right, and I uh, come here. It says now. So still, still not. And top be funny, something like that. All right. So let me break it twice. And come down here, Control S. So if you wanna save, see this come here f5 all right so this is a nut and uh, right there so uh, we can uh, add an another image the last one and then uh, so come down here control v and in this case i will add uh, let's say a starchy v I have another image called uh, uh, let's say starchy v this one so yes, uh, Star supply V a PNG and then uh, star. all right and then uh, come down here and then I will add this and uh, let's say add vegetable vegetable carrot I love carrot corn And more, okay, and then um, control S if you want to see this F5. There is, and then now we're gonna add a footer for this, all right? So now let's add a footer and then uh, or another, another image. I'm gonna control S this and then from here, where we add the, uh, the last one, control V. And in this case, I will uh, I will just add the milk. Our last image with milk. I'm just gonna shut on this. So I write here milk. And then here, I will just add uh, probably uh, 
and I comment here add and take a glass of milk control s in here take five carry take a glass of milk all right so now we're gonna add a footer so to close this so so this is the div content so come down here and then click div and inside here we're gonna add uh, a data and uh, a data data role and then uh, call it footer all right and uh, the data term is uh, data time is uh, let's say B and then uh, inside here I will just create a, a, what is called a, a paragraph and say here for example style and text align center and then uh, then I suggest here yeah, go Go healthy, go, go healthy, at SM with smtiro.com. All right, and control S. So if you want to see this, come here and just play S, S5, save first, and then there is that's your on um, the footer here. All right, so let's go back here. So you create breakfast here, and then this will come here. All right, so we're gonna create another one for lunch, and then uh, in order to do so here, so let's collapse all this. So we now we're gonna uh, let's collapse this. So this is a div for uh, these three divs was for. Uh, so we're gonna have to create another one like that, but the ID will be page three. All right, so come down here and then div and then uh, come inside here and then the data role is page and his ID will be page three. Remember, we create um, if you come here, we create the page three here. All right, so this is going to be page three. All right, so I had the comment here. This is a page three, All right? And then I end here, and page three. All right. So inside the page three, we're gonna create our first, uh, the first div, which is the the header. So I created, sorry, a div here, and my first div here is a. Uh, the data role it's a header so I create first the header and uh, inside my header my data type M here will be B and then uh, inside here I'll create uh, an H1 tag and then I'll call it on uh, this is uh what page is it? Is it uh okay, let me see? This is lunch. So it will be lunch. Lunch. And I'm gonna style um style uh, the background, okay? So style and then so come here let me put this one away, style. So I have the background down here background color choose this and this background color I use the same like the other one f f f f c c control s so you have uh so if you control s or come here save and come to your here and just press f5 and come here click launch this will take you to this page launch all right so and then uh and then we have this all right so this is the page uh, this is a page three 
and uh, actually I will, I, will, I will use green here instead so copy back here and then f5 this will be green all right so now we have a header and now we gonna have to co create a, uh, the content so the div so the div here so the data role the data role is a uh, content instead and then it's the style background so the background color I'll choose here and uh, pound ff ff cc also s all right so inside the content i will just create uh, let's just fill uh, fill the blank here so i create the h5 let's say i create the h5 and here h5 and then i just write here balance balance your meal with proteins carbohydrate and fat I mean a little fat all right so and then I want this I want this text align to be center so start text align and I want it to be center all right if you want to see it and uh, you come back here f5 all right, so balance your meal with your protein hybrid, and then here, and then uh, we're gonna create a UL tag that will allow her so, and then uh, we can fill this with uh, other stuff. But uh, I'm gonna create a let's say I create a, a UL tag, or I'm just gonna create a footer. So the content is good, and then. Uh, so let's say I create now a footer so div and then you have the data role so the data role here so the data role here is so it's footer and this is the footer and a data term The other term will be B, and then uh, inside my div, and then uh, I need to take this one out. Inside my div, here I'll just create a paragraph, and then inside the paragraph, I just write, and uh, let me come back here and, and, and take this one. I'm just gonna copy this one, and then uh, come back here and just delete this and paste this. Save. All right. So if you want to see this in a browser, so let's go just check it out in a browser. Let's go to Internet Explorer, and then uh, you can run this in Internet Explorer. But um, it will be a little bit weird with Internet Explorer. But there is. All right. So and then uh, this is Internet Explorer. And then how about we check with uh, Google Chrome? Let's check this with Google Chrome. All right. Okay, it's loading. Let me close and then explore it here. This will take a while. So let me just uh, close this and come back here and just refresh the page. All right, so you can fill this one the blank. All right, so now let's go. So let's close this. So what I'm gonna do to be fast, I'm just gonna copy all this. Control C and come down here. At the end of here, Control V. Here we're gonna change this page to four, the fourth page, and then we're gonna create change this four, 
and um, our fourth fourth page was called uh, snack so we're gonna create this one snack it's faster and then uh, let's say just let's say let's say, let's say just yes yeah, it says get get let's say just to say get some snack on your your way to work All right and then uh yeah so i'm just gonna save this and change this one to fourth and then if you come back here save first here and then come to your uh, here and let's just press F5 and let's go back here and then let's click snack this will take you to this page all right so now let's go to the fifth page and so I'll just copy. and then let's copy the fourth page here and come come down here at the end at the end here and just paste it all right, so here we want a page five, so we're creating the page five. The page, the, the page five will be the dinner page, but when you click here, it's not. So because we need to link this page ID page five. All right, so we're gonna change this here page five, and then um, let's go back. The page five was called what? Page. Uh, I think the, the page is the first one. The page five was called dinner so uh, we're gonna create a dinner here and then uh, get some light some light weight for your type of food for for your Dinner. All right, and then uh, I'm gonna change it to page five. Control S, and then come here, and then F five to refresh it, and then uh, come here, click dinner, and this will take you to this page. And I want the footer here to be aligned in the center. All right, so my footer here should be aligned in the center. So text align center. So if you go to breakfast, it's in the center. Lunch center. Snack center. Dinner center. And then, okay, the master page actually. So we have to go to the first page we created here. Inside the footer here, we're gonna open this. And here, create a style. So you create a style here and say, uh, let's go back. Create a style here and say text align to be in the center. All right, and then uh, Control S or here save and come back here, refresh at five, and then there is a center. Now I want to create. Um, so we have this. So let's try this in uh, in uh, in in uh, what is called. Um, I want to open it with iPad. A iPad simulator so let's go get add new let's go get the iPad simulator and I'm gonna get the iPad simulator and click install click yes accept This will take a, a while, so you're gonna have to wait a little bit. And then uh, let's rotate this. Uh, let's right click here and orientation here. And uh, let's see device iPad. Oh, there it is. That's for the iPad. All right, so we can orientation here, landscape. And then we can go to portrait. All right, so this is your app. So when you click on it, there is lunch. There is. All right, 
and then let's see the iPhone. Mm. The iPhone simulator there is, and uh, so you have the iPhone simulator right here, and then I come here, and I want to run the iPad simulator also. Alright, so this is the iPad simulator. I'm gonna put the device portrait mode and then uh, open this and open the iPad simulator. And this is the iPhone one. Alright, guys. Alright, this is the iPad and this is the iPhones. Alright, it looks nice. Alright, so and then. Uh, and then I, that's it. And I think uh, we created on what is called your first mobile applications. And you can upload these uh, apps on uh, any time in order to do so. And uh, what is called, um, I will show you in the next videos. Okay. So let me uh, let me probably open this in another browser so you can see probably. And I promise you that. Uh, let's go to um, Google Chrome probably. All right, the same thing here. It was for the iPad and iPhones, Google Chrome. All right, guys. So this tutorial was fun, and I hope it was not uh, too long. If you have uh, any comment, please uh, leave uh, below. And uh, this is how you create uh, what is called um, a mobile application for all browser and all um, phones. And you can even try this with um, and. Uh, Windows phone. I think I have a Windows simulator here. Let's let's just try with a Windows simulator. Let's, I have a Windows uh, Windows Phone Seven here. I'm gonna open it with the Windows Seven. Next, I have to download the simulator, install, and accept. And this will take a while. Okay. And then um, this is. Uh, and let me go back to the code and this will take me a little while so and uh, so basically uh, the J this is using jQuery jQuery is a, a JavaScript library so we have to import an our and uh, jQuery mobile and uh, what is called CCSS which we stand for cas cascading style sheet and our JavaScript and once we do so we create uh, what is called a master page a jQuery mobile page and with that we can create a uh, content for each page and uh, link each content to uh, what it's called to a second and um, sub pages and then from that you can and uh, fill your um, your content and uh, that's it so in order to uh, publish this you have to create a Google account and then publish it with uh, a Google uh, what is called um, and I forget how they call it uh, you can you can uh, what is called uh, and uh, go create a Google account and then create as a developer you have to register as a developer and then uh, you can upload this as a zip file but in this case I will show you how to and uh, what is called uh, upload this with uh, and um, on your phone in order to upload your phone you have to go to phone gap so and uh, so you have to come to phone gap here and then create an account and once you create an account a phone gap, so let's go to phone, let's go to phone, phone gap, and phone, phone gap um, account. So you have to create an account with phone gap. And then uh, you have, once you create an account with phone gap, you just log in. And then you have to, uh, this file was created, you have to create a zip file and upload it on phone gap. And then from there you can put it on your device. But this will take this is taking me a while so let me just cancel this and then uh, this, i'm gonna pause the video and come back all right